Bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Claude here. Today I want to talk to you about a book um, that I think is rather special. Um, it is called 365 Tarot Spells by Sasha Graham, Creating the Magic in Each Day. I have owned it for a year now. I got it in December last year, but I wanted to give you um, an honest review rather than just opening it and telling you, yeah, it, it's okay. I, I wanted to put it to the test before I reviewed it. So, um, yeah, I'm very excited about this and sharing it with you. So I'm going to start by showing it to you. It is big, as you can tell. It's a very thick book because there is literally a spell per day. And this is the back. So I'm going to read quickly the back for you. Enhance your personal power with a tarot spell for every day of the year. Discover the beautiful tapestry of magic and tarot, woven together to improve your life through daily spells. Tarot is the perfect magical tool and 365 tarot spells provides everything you need to manifest your desires and make your soul's intention a reality. This accessible guide shows you how to achieve your goals with spells for family and home, money and career, creativity, health and well-being, love, letting go, luck, chakra opening, seasonal and witchy enchantments, protection, travel, sleep, personal growth. Each spell is based on a significant historical or magical occurrence on that particular day and is accompanied by a list of ingredients, visualizations, meditation, incantation, card layout and more. Immerse yourself in the energy of all 78 tarot cards with connection rituals. Cook with magical intention using a variety of recipe-based spells. An ideal companion to 365 tarot spreads, this book offers spells for every calendar date that can be cast with any deck. Experience the wondrous interconnectivity of magic and tarot and reinvent yourself in the process. Now, I do um, like Sasha Graham. Um, you know, she's she, she's well known in the, in the tarot world. Um, I was really excited when my hubby got me this book. So when you open it, this is what it looks like. That's the beautiful lady in question. There is a dedication for Easy, Mac and Sky, and then you have the table of content. So as you can see, I'm sorry, it's kind of heavy. Um, you've got an introduction, how to use the book, and then it moves on straight to each month. And then you've got an index of spell and an index of cards. And I will talk to you about those because these are actually very, very handy. I, I think it was very nicely done. So when you start here, basically she explains to you in the introduction that um, this book is the result of her reading Janina or Janina Renee's Tarot Spells and the effect that it's had on her life and practice, just generally speaking. And she talks about particularly the effect um, of um, this lady's practices, basically, because she takes you inside the tarot cards, um, you know, when you do a visualization. And she said that she brought the entire deck to life for her and it was really transformative in her tarot practice. And that's why she wanted to share um, with us by making this book, writing this book, should I say. So she also goes into what magic is. So she says magic is based on a tapestry of interconnectivity between you and the natural world. I agree. And basically talks about it's the law of attraction really is number one desire or your thought your idea then number two feeling so align yourself visualize and then number three action which is in this case the spell and she talks about how we are all different human beings with a unique magical fingerprint so you know some of us may be good at uh, folk um, type of magic, you know, more natural magic, whilst others may be more into ceremonial magic. But she talks about how tarot is a perfect magical tool because it was created um, by the human consciousness. And she explained that you can get the cards and go through them as if they were a gate and move into an altered state where everything is possible. And she says that this is where true change occurs. And I agree with her. I really do. So she says that, you know, doing these kind of things will teach you that you're not separate from the natural world, that you're part of it. Um, it it's really, really interesting. And then she moves on to explain to you how to use the book. So obviously anyone can use the book. She um, 
runs you through choosing your deck, um, reading each spell all the way through, gathering all your tools, pick, choose and improvise. She makes a big point here that magic is an art form, not a science. So you can, you know, swap ingredients if you don't have them, or if you have a, an affinity with um, something more specific than by all means do. Create your sacred space, um, how to use magic responsibly, how to enter the card, become the figure on the car, card, and connection rituals. And then she moves on to all of the different spells. Now, I'm going to talk to you about the index first, and then I'll go back to that, because I thought that was very nicely done. So you've got two different types of indexes. You've got the index of spells here, and they are put together by topics. Um, and this is done um, alphabetically, okay? So astrological spells, banishing. And here you have all of them put on the side with the page number so you can find it. So if you're looking for a love spell, you know love, 381, and you can go to 381. So it's really nicely done. So I'm going to tell you all of the types you can have. So you've got astrological spells, banishing. You have career and work life, chakra opening, creativity, education, family, house and home. Um, finance and money matters, general, health, beauty and wellness. Justice, letting go, love. Luck be a lady, magical oils, moody spells, nature, personal power, and there are plenty for that, which I love. Power planet spells, protection, recipe spells, seasonal, sleepy spells, tarot cards, that's the 78 um, cards, because there is a connection ritual for every single one of them, and I've done them all. Tower specific spells and rituals, travel, witchy enchantment, and that's the last one, witchy enchantment. So you can see there's a, a breadth of um, variety, it's, it's amazing, um, the variety of them. And then at the end, you've got the index of cards, I hope you can see it because I put my clip on it. Um, and so they, they are all listed with the pages where the cards are being used, whether it's a ritual to connect with the card or whether the card is actually actively used as part of um, the list of ingredients. So for the full, you've got all the pages, so you've got all of the major arcana, and then she moves on to obviously the minors, um, because she also uses the minors in the spells. So this is incredible. It's really, really nicely done, very easy to use. Um, yeah, I was very impressed by that. So let me show you the a typical setup for the page. So let's go to the 1st of January, just because it's easy. So you will see the date on the top of the page. And then you will have the title, so the full fresh start spell here. You'll have a list of ingredients at the top, always. Then on the left, you have a little bit about the day, you know, what happened on January the 1st, for instance. On the side here, you have an incantation placed under the photo of the card, and here is what to do. Um, and for this one, obviously this is um, to do with the full, because it's a, it's a fresh start, but you also have to use the death card and a white rose, and then she explains the method, the visualization, and the meditation. So. It's the same format for every single spell, which I like, but obviously the spells differ. So I have marked some of them to show you. So let me see. Yeah, so for instance, on March the 5th, she has the Justice Card Connection Ritual. So if you want to connect with the Justice Card, the Major Arcana, um, this is what it looks like. So she says, for instance, on this day, in 1956, the Supreme Court upheld the ban on segregation in public schools, colleges and universities. This highest of US courts is a living reflection of the Justice card. Then you've got the card, the incantation, and then the actual visualization, how to connect with it and how to enter the card. Now, I'm not going to read it because obviously, you know, if you want it, buy it. I mean, you know, this is someone who's put a lot of time writing this book, so I don't think that'd be fair for me to read all of the spells out, but it's very, very nice. So that's one for the uh, a major arcana, to show you an example. Um, 
another type of spells you have, for instance, is Banish Negativity Spell, this one here. So for that you need the Star Card, you need a Flat Rock, you need a Rusty Nail and a Hammer. Quite easy to get your hands on it. I've actually done it. I've followed the instructions and I have done it and it worked for me. Um, and it even tells you what to do with um, the ingredients once you're done with it. Because sometimes people say, well, what do I do when I've done a, a spell? What do I do? How do I get rid of it? But it does explain that. So that's, that's very nice. Um, I wanted to show you another one. Let me find it. There you go. So for instance, for a minor arcana, Nine of Swords Connection Ritual. Now, the Nine of Swords is a difficult energy, just generally speaking, so I thought that would be an interesting um, one to look at. Um, and she says that the Nine of Swords was called the Lord of Despair and Cruelty by the Magicians of the Golden Dawn, who assigned it the time period of June the 1st to the 10th, which is why she's put it on the 6th of June. And then she walks you into the card and explains it, gives you a different um, point of view and helps you understand the energy of the Nine of Swords, which I thought was very interesting. And on the other side here, you've got a sell a house spell with the Ten of Pentacles, some mint essential oil, distilled water, spray bottle and vanilla extract. Um, it worked. I sold my house last year. <laughs> I sold it for the asking price and I did do it. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Now, some people who are skeptical will say, well, it's got nothing to do with it. You just presented your house well, whatever. I did the spell, it worked, I was happy. <laughs> so yeah, you do have a, a variety of spells, which is what I'm trying to show you, you know, selling a house, banishing, um, negativity, minor arcana rituals, you've got the eight of pentacles connection rituals here, um, major arcana as well. This one was interesting, on the 29th of August, that was the Lampadomancy, which is divining with... Um, a, a lamp, you know, an oil lamp. Now, I, I'd never tried that before and I did try it and that was really interesting. I really enjoyed it. I didn't know it was a, a divination method. So this book, you know, kind of taught me a few things as well, that things that I, I didn't know. And I really enjoyed that. That's why I've cornered it because I wanted to mention it to you. So yeah, I really love this book in a nutshell and particularly for the rituals with the tarot cards, as in connecting with the tarot cards. If you are struggling with some of your tarot cards and you don't get their energies or you just don't like them because you feel they're negative energies, I strongly suggest doing um, the connection rituals. I'm trying to find the page, hold on a second, that she does for the tarot because it's... Um, it's really, really, uh, it, it's it's really nice. It gets you to understand the energy of the card. And the fact that she's got one for every single one of them, even if you don't craft, is what I'm trying to say. Even if you're not into, you know, gathering ingredients and actually casting a spell. The knowledge you're going to gain from your deck by doing that is unreal. Um, I have used this, particularly with decks I did not connect with naturally, because you know sometimes you get a deck and it's just an instant hit, and other times you think it's pretty but you're just not getting messages from them. If that's the case, going through that, the connection rituals with each card, or if you're struggling with a particular um, card's energy, this really really works. It's this kind of visualization and getting inside the card and meditating, it's, I mean, it did for me, so that's why I really wanted to um, share that with you. So let me know, do you have this book? Have you heard of it? Um, what do you think? Are you interested in it? Just let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this book. I personally love it, and that's why I wanted to share it with you. So thank you for your time. It's your most precious commodity, as I always say, so I'm very grateful you chose to spend it with me. I hope you enjoyed this review, and wherever you are, whenever you're watching this, I wish you a truly magical day. Until next time, au revoir.